Well, let's see if the following uh, vector field is conservative. So let's say we have a force that is, that is C, some constant times the vector position. Um, so we could take the curl of F, and uh, if this is in... Um, spherical coordinates, then we would have, um, well, let's, let's write this out in uh, Cartesian coordinates. So what we mean by this is C, uh, X, Y, and Z components. Um, so if we want to take the curl of F, um, we know how to do it using these coordinates, but if, if, if we decide to write this in spherical coordinates, then um, this force field would have uh, an R component, a, a radial component, and we, we take derivatives, when we do this for spherical coordinates, this would require derivatives of the other components of a function of r. And so we can see that that's zero, but if we do it in Cartesian coordinates, we'll see the same thing. It'll just be more familiar to us. So we take x, y, and z derivatives of x, y, and z components, but they're always derivatives of a different components. So here we take dy of z, that's zero. Then we'll take d, uh, x, dz of x, that's zero. Um, here we have derivative of x and y. Uh, here we have derivative in x of z, uh, derivative in z of y, and so on. So this is going to be zero. So it satisfies the the um, conditions for being a conservative force field. So it must be true that there's some function u that satisfies that. So we know that this looks like that. And so this u function, when we integrate, looks like this plus some function of y and z. If we do the integral in y, then we'll get minus c y squared over 2 plus some function g, uh, g of x and z up to a function g of x and z. And if we look at this, we get minus c times z. So u is minus z minus c, z squared over 2, plus some function, most some function of x and y. So all of these are compatible if u is uh, minus c over 2, x squared plus y squared plus z squared, plus at most some number, some constant.